What's up, Brizzo here, and this is uh, Darksiders Apocalyptic Difficulty Walkthrough uh, with Collectibles. Um, so we just picked up the uh, Beholder key on our way to go open the door. Uh, on your way back upstairs, all the enemies that you killed are going to be back just to uh, piss you off. So just take them out, there's no problem. Um, this video introduces um, a couple new types of enemies. One is this annoying um, hanging thing that clamps down on you when you go underneath it. And this green guy who wears this white armor. Now, the green guy with the armor is the real problem. He's incredibly uh, tough and takes a lot of damage. Matter of fact, while you're attacking him, you have to knock his armor off little by little. Now, there's a couple of them that you'll meet in this whole uh, dungeon and I'm going to show you how to deal with that but they're really tough and they do a lot of damage they have these really heavy um, they have these two handed weapons that when they swing uh, will fuck you up pretty fast Now go ahead and open up the door and we'll see what kind of craziness this game has for us. Alright, now here's the guy I was talking about. Uh, you, he's defending the sword, so you're going to have to knock his armor off bit by bit before you can get the, um, the finishing move on him. Uh, so what I recommend you use on them is the um, the blade geyser, the uh, the first wrath power that you get. It'll usually knock off a good chunk of their armor. Once that's done, just uh, keep wailing away on them. You want to be careful. Anytime that they uh, move that axe and make it seem as though they're going to attack, just assume they're going to attack and dash out of the way. Uh, they have a one-hit attack, they have a two-hit attack, and they have that one that makes these like shards come out of the ground. Uh, I made it look kind of easy right there, but trust me, they're tough, especially when there's other enemies in the room, because you really need to focus on them, and you can't really target using the, uh, the left trigger, because sometimes you'll be focusing on one of the smaller enemies, and that guy's going to come in and deal lots of damage to you. Uh, later on, there's a room that we're going to enter where you have to fight three of them, uh, one by himself and then two at a time. One of the things I like about this game is, um, I guess they found it during uh, testing was they couldn't remember, the testers couldn't remember where to go, so they had um, the Watcher, or whatever Mark Hamill's character's name is, uh, every so often he'll instruct you where to go, or if you hold the back or select button, he'll actually come out and give you a tip, which is really handy. Uh, so this is the room with our first collectible for this video. Uh, it's a lifestone shard. What you have to do is pick up this exploding bomb. And it's kind of, tr of a tricky throw to get it through that window. Uh, there's those red crystals over there that you have to blow up. Uh, they are hiding the, the chest itself. Uh, so feel free to laugh at me for my horrible aim. Now, once you're done with that, the hanging guys that I was talking about earlier, uh, there's one uh, just to the left, like kind of behind you where you pick up those bombs. Uh, just throw one at him and then you'll be able to get underneath. 
All right, so once you get this sword over here, uh, you're going to get ambushed. Um, three or four regular type enemies are going to come out with another one of those um, white armored green guys. Now, this is one of those situations I'm talking about where uh, you try to focus on him, although I didn't do that, but I'm using the um, Scythe a lot. Um, it has these really wide ranging uh, attack patterns, so I can hit multiple enemies at the same time, but if you're using the Chaos Eater, I'll whittle away at the little guys if you want, but just keep an eye on that big guy. Uh, if it looks like he's charging, you really need to get out of the way. So once this area is cleared, uh, put that sword where it belongs. Um, the rest of this, there's some minor uh, puzzle solving to do. There's also a champion artifact to be picked up. Uh, so follow along and I'll see you in the next video.